Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we have an application for your iPhone as well as your iPod Touch called Days Event Countdown. Go ahead and open up Days and it's going to bring us into our upcoming events tab where I can see all the events that I've added. If I tap on one, it's actually going to show me the photo, full screen, and then show me the event name, how many days I have left, and then I have some options down at the bottom such as edit, favorite, and then share. So if I tap edit, what it's going to allow me to do is edit the photo, the title, the date, and also the category that I've put it into. And tapping on any one of those will go ahead and change it. If I unfavorite, it's going to remove it from my favorites and then where I can favorite it again. And then I have my share button, which if I tap share, it's going to crop down the photo. I can write a message up here at the top. And then what I can also do is tap share too, and it's going to open up my iOS share sheet where I can go ahead and share with all of my favorite applications on my device. Now what I can also do is if I tap or swipe up, so if I swipe up or tap on the photo, it's going to let me edit the photo before I share it. So I can change the crop of the photo. I can change the font. So I can swipe through a few different fonts here to change how the font looks. And then I can also remove or add the days icon if I'd like to. So there's a bunch of different options here that I can choose when I'm going to share it out. So before you share that, go ahead and edit and crop down your photo and make it how you would like to. So now that I've done all that, share again, and it's going to share it to all my friends. So let's go ahead and come back out. Now that I'm here on this, on this item, if I swipe up, it's going to bring me to the next event and swipe down will bring me back to my list of events. So what, what if we wanted to add a new event? I'm going to go ahead and tap the plus button up here and here's a blank slate. So now what I do is tap to add a photo. We can either take a photo or choose one from our library. So I'll go ahead and choose this photo. And now let's give it a title. We'll hit the check mark to accept the title. We'll do the date now. Let's go ahead and say this one is going to be for the 22nd of February 2015. But notice that I can move any of the sliders to select whichever date I would like to. Tap the check mark, and now we're going to choose the category. So there are business, birthday, nightlife, travel, wedding, and other. So this one, get the travel since I'm driving, I'll tap that, and I'll tap the check mark, and then it's been added. Now up in the top left hand corner, if I tap on that, it's going to open up my side menu. Here I can go ahead and view different filters and categories. So here I can view my favorites. Open up the menu again, I have previous events, any event that have already happened, I can see in this list. Go ahead and hit it up there again. We have all of our categories, which is our basic default view that we can see. And then we can also filter down per category. So if I only wanted to see the events that are coming up for my travel, I'll tap travel, and here are two travel events that I have. And tapping on those will obviously show me all the detailed information that I've inputted for that specific event. And then we have our settings. In the settings, we can get event reminders on the day of an event, or we can go and tap on there one day before, one week, two weeks, one month, or one year before the event. And then we can also have an icon badge, letting me know showing the days until the next event on the app on my home screen. So once again, this application is called Days Event Countdown. If you like it, be sure to pick it up in the App Store today.